Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing my top 10 list of secret places that you probably don't know about on Rose Citizens. So to start off, we're in my contemporary house. Because there's actually, it's not exactly secret, but it's, I would say it's good enough to be on the list. So if you come over here, okay, it's, it's kind of hard. It's on the chandelier, right? So what you want to do is you want to like, okay, you want to start over here and then you want to, yeah, you do that. And then once you've done that, you can become a one-year-old, right? You can go in first person and you can slip in. You got to get it like just right. Kind of hard, but you can like slip in. I got it before, but it's kind of hard. Yeah, but anyway, you can slip into there, and yeah, that's the first spot. I couldn't do it, but yeah, you can slip into there. Yeah, let's head on to the next one. Okay, so for the next spot, you want to get you one of these fireplaces. These are pretty expensive, but with this fireplace, you see that there's a little a secret like area inside. You can actually, if you become a one-year-old, you can do this. You can aim the fireplace over yourself. And place it down, and you'll be inside the fireplace. And now, if you were playing hide and go seek with your friends, and you hid here, maybe I don't know, did a little sleep or something. I don't know. I think it'd be hard to find you, and I don't think you'd be found for a little while if you were like up against the wall and maybe some gray colors. Yeah. You so yeah, this is the second spot. It's another simple spot. The next spot we're heading to is near uh, Pagetti's. So yeah, let's head there. So we have arrived at our next spot at Pagetti's. It's right around this corner, right behind Club Ice and right by the Criminal Hideout. So there's two trash cans, and you see this one, you can't, like, almost none of the trash cans you can get into. Nothing here, but if you jump into here, there actually is a little secret. There's even a little Easter egg to uh, Pagetti's. Uh, so yeah, that's the secret spot. Um, I don't think this would be really useful. Like, you could probably use it in hide and seek, but other than that, yeah. So... That was pretty short, but the next one, I would say, I would say, some people know, but you'd only know if you have it. So yeah, let's head to that. Okay, so I'm borrowing my friend, Half a Dorks. Uh, he's on his main, but I'm borrowing his haunted house because all my plots are taken, so I guess I'll leave, you know, him a little link or something. But anyway. Yeah, basically, this is the house, and you would probably think nothing of it. This is the only house with a basement as well. This is not a secret, but I guess, I guess you could call it a secret, but this is not the secret. Uh, only people with this house would probably know that this, but yeah, there's a little secret behind here. You can close it, and yeah, there's a little secret room behind uh, the fire, but it also leads to a bookcase. Now, with the new curve... You can make like a whole line of bookcase. Obviously, you can make like a line of bookcase and it'll go here, but now you can curve it too. So, this is another secret. I think it's really cool. Uh, yeah. Dude, th like this one, this one, like, is. If, if your friends don't have a haunted house and don't know anything about Rose Citizens, this is definitely the way you can trick them into. I don't know, this is definitely the way you can trick them into, like, not knowing where you are. They'll probably think of some of the basic sites, but not definitely not think of this. Uh, but we'll be heading to is just easy one. Uh, you can do it with any house. Uh, so yeah, let's go into that. This next one you can use for a lot of the houses, but you can use for a lot of the houses. But I would suggest using it for a few of the houses. So first, you wanna do this. You wanna spawn in your uh, like villa. Um, you wanna figure out where the stairs are. Then, you want to stand at the stairs, you want to despawn your house, and you want to, then you want to place back down your villa, so, when that, when it comes back, you're under the stairs, and you, you would think that you can't actually place anything, but you actually can place stuff under here, so if you're looking for another storage space, or maybe a bedroom, I think this is, could be like a cool Harry Potter bedroom, now, it is a little bit of a nuisance to get in and out of, 
Like, there used to be, like, a uh, a chair thing where you could set a chair and you could click E to get in. But they sadly took that out. But it, even though it's a nuisance to get into, you can have some, like, cool-style Harry Potter rooms. Uh, those could be fun. If you guys want to see me do something like that, a cool Harry Potter room or something, you can let me know. But, yeah. Let me know if you want me to see me do anything like that. The next thing is there's a secret place under Club Ice. So, we're going to head to Club Ice. And, yeah. We are at Club Ice, and you would think that the secret place would be inside of Club Ice, maybe up the stairs, maybe by our old friend Maddie, maybe by the DJ, maybe even in the VIP room. Um, there's a way, I know how to get in the VIP room without VIP, but I'm not going to say that because I do not want to get in trouble for giving away that, but the secret is not actually in Club Ice, it is actually underneath Club Ice, so basically... I don't know if they fix this or not, but if you go over here, there's like, no, nope, there's a little hole, which leads right under Club Ice. So if you want a little, if you want a little friendly hangout, if you want to start something like a gang or a cult, this is the perfect place to start it. You can even watch people from down here, I think. But yeah, this is basically the best place to start something. Or if you just want to start like an underground like DJ thing, or you want to maybe start a revolt against Rose Citizens, or maybe you're just looking for a cool place to hide and hide and go seek to change things up from your normal spots with your friends, this is probably the best place to do it, and I su really suggest going here. Uh, it's also really secretive. I don't think I don't think anybody sees, like figures it out. I mean, I know a lot of people probably accidentally walked into this wall as a baby, but like. I don't know, like, how you'd know. I don't even know if this is on purpose. But, yeah, it's really cool. Like, like if you stand here, you could literally watch anything and everything uh, without getting caught. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool secret. Um, the next one is, I would, I would say it's one above because it's something that you wouldn't expect. But, yeah, let's just get to it. So, our next spot is actually at an unusual place. So, our next spot is probably at the library. Most of you know, probably know this, but I highly doubt anybody comes to the library. I don't think anybody in Rose Citizen goes to the library. Uh, if you do, it was probably on accident or something. But basically, you know, you know, probably you're probably jumping around. If you do come in the library, you're probably jumping around trying to, you know, just do some random stuff, have some fun. And you see... You see this, you see that there's kind of a gap here, you see right there, you see between this and this wall, there's a little small gap, and you probably think nothing of it, you probably think that this is just normal wall, but this, that's not an accident. So basically, if you jump over here into this billboard, there's a secret library room with books like I Win by you lose and yeah it's just a really cool area you can show off your friend maybe maybe if you angle your camera right you can maybe even start a podcast which would be really interesting like i don't know you can maybe start a rose citizens news channel podcast but it's overall a really cool hiding spot which i don't think anybody like if if a lot of people know about this spot it's obviously in a library so i don't think anybody knows about it but yeah it's definitely hidden and uh, most people will not think to check here. But next spot is in the hospital. This spot is glitched, so I can't actually show you how you get into it, but I can show you it, and I can show you where it is. So let's head there. Okay, so when you walk into the, when you first walk into the hospital, you obviously see you obviously see this um, metal box thing, and you obviously think, oh, there's nothing here. Uh, you probably just go work your job. Or something like that, but in these, there's actually a box room, or like elevator shaft should be, and you can actually get in here. Now, I'm not going to show you how to get in here, but I'm going to show you that you can get in here and what it looks like, and that it's a secret place. So let me get in there and catch you guys on the flip side. Okay, guys, this is the spot in the elevator shaft. As you can see, there's a black box, and there's a kind of humongous um, room, and you can see that there's actually like one you can get up upstairs. But overall, I think that this spot uh, deserves this place and uh, number eight. And I think it's really cool. I don't think barely anybody knows about it. Um, probably because people don't know really how to get in here. It's uh, it's pretty easy to get in here. Um, but if you can figure out how to get in here, I think it's a pretty good hiding spot. And I don't think anybody's going to find you in hide and go seek.
And it's a cool little secret that you at least know. At least know it's in here. But without that, we're going to head to the next spot. Which is number 9 or 2nd place. We're getting close to the end. First spot, I might be the only one, except for my friend, half a door, who knows about this spot. So yeah, that's pretty epic. And yeah, let's let's head to the next spot. But that's so you guys probably drive around here, by here a lot without really knowing what this spot exactly is. So this is this is just a normal bridge. But you probably have all you probably jumped in the water, jumped onto this bridge, drove past this bridge, drove on this bridge, drove into the water. But without knowing, they're actually uh, well, let me let me change eighteen real quick. You don't need to, but I just want to. So without knowing, there's actually a secret spot right here where you can head down into the vents. And yes, you there's a secret water tunnel. And where this water tunnel leads you, I don't know if you've seen it. You probably have, but I think this spot is really cool. And if you, if you're a new player of Rose Citizens, then you probably don't know about this spot. But this is a laboratory. It shows it shows Bloxburg, a noob. Uh, it shows um, I think this Firebrand's old like character. Uh, it shows his sword. It shows fruity pebbles. I think from like the Flintstone stuff type stuff. It showed the Christmas card and the Christmas update. Pets maybe one day. The Sims, Rose Citizens. It shows this game has shut down. I think that's, um, John Doe. I think that's who that is, John Doe. But, yeah, basically, there's a whole bunch of chemicals and stuff. You can't get back up. You have to, like, reset or teleport to your car or house, which you're done. And there's, like, a laser ray. And there's this logo. This logo you can also find in the high school, uh, which we're going to be going to next. But I'm not going to show it. If you guys want to go check out that, it's in the back of the auditorium. So, you guys go look at that. But, yeah, this is this secret area. I think it's really cool. And, remember, you can go down the water by the bridge, and yeah, that's how you get to the spot, and let's on on to the grand finale. I call this spot the school void hole, the school death hole, you can call it whatever you want, but it's dangerous. Alright, so, the spot is over here in this corner, it's past this wall, now I know how to get past this wall, but I, I cannot show it because I do not want to get in trouble, so I would not be showing it, but I will be showing you the spot. This spot, this spot is amazing, and let me just tell you, I think I'm the only one who knows about it except for my friend. It's called the School Void Hole, the School Death Hole. It's practically a void hole in the map, and yeah, I'm going to get behind this wall, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys, so we made it into the school. So basically, this is, this is the spot. So this is in the school. This is the wall that I came in from. And basically, oh, let me go little because I have to go little to fit down here. It's actually really treacherous. So let me show you guys. So yeah, yeah as you saw, that's the school. You saw that probably through the wall. But yeah, this is under some stairs. And basically, this is the wall we came in from. But if we go this way, you see that? That's the void. Now, usually the void, the there's a void. You can also look up, but there's not much up. Uh, there's mostly down, you can see the whole void, and it's just a big void hole. Now, obviously, there's no walls around this map, so, oh, crap, you gotta be careful here, or you can fall. You gotta jump right there to get out. But, yeah, this is a big void hole in the map. Uh, it is dangerous, and, yeah, this is right below the auditorium, like I was telling you earlier. But, yeah, big void hole in the map, and I think I am... The only one, except for my friend that knows this spot. I'm not going to show you guys how to get into it because I don't want to get into trouble. But it's really cool and it's one of, probably one of the biggest secrets of the game. There are some other secrets, but these are the ones I'm sharing. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, maybe show some support. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, peace out and bye.